All right, today we're going to talk about combatives. This might be the most important thing you do with your football team all year. Your kids can lift weights, be big, you know, be fast, but at the end of the day, if they're not tough, it doesn't matter. You're not winning big football games. One of the things that, you know, I prided myself in as a head coach, and it was part of the part of the reason was because that's how it was where I played, where I coached, you know, at the beginning of my career. Toughness is a learned behavior. And that is a hundred percent fact. So your kids are only going to be as tough as you make them. Okay. So that's why we do these combative drills. They can, you have to monitor them. Obviously you're going to want to have multiple coaches and, you know, keep everything like small scale and make sure that you are monitoring things and be quick to stop rather than quick to let go. Okay. Make sure you set all the rules in place for the drills. Um, I have a, I have a video of each drill and then we also have a description in the text of where the video file is so when you click on the lesson you'll see what I mean there's a description underneath it tells you exactly how to do the drills if you have any questions you can put them in the comments um, below because if one person has a question then everybody's got a question these are pretty common drills they're just not things you would think to you know make a part of your football program they're fun the kids absolutely love them I mean you're gonna have kids that you never knew were as tough as they were pop out at you during these drills, especially the younger kids that you haven't really seen play or seen, you know, be physical or, or do things outside of maybe, you know, going to watch one of their football games or something. Uh, you're going to find out, you know, which kids have character, which kids will fight, which kids have heart, you know, which kids you're going to want to give the ball to on fourth down. Like, you will learn more through these few drills that you do with your football team about who they are as players and young men um, than you will in any other football drill. You can, in practice, film room, weight room, you know, you, we've all had those guys that, you know, they're good in the weight room, look like Tarzan and play like Jane, right? So this is a case where, you know, you, you can't hide when you're doing these drills. Like, you, when you're involved in one of these drills, you're going to see what you're made of. There's no way around it. There's no getting out of it. You need to make sure that you take attendance and make sure that this day is important. Uh, what I have found that works best is we have a WWE style, you know, like world championship wrestling belt that we get custom made. I mean, it, you know, we, we spend a decent amount of money on these around, I believe the last one was a thousand dollars a couple when we got a couple years ago. Um, but it's worth every penny. So do whatever fundraisers you got to do. Those kids will fight tooth and nail to make sure they win that belt every week because they want to carry it around school. They want to. They want to. They want to put it in their locker. They want to. I mean, they want to be seen with this thing. They want to post pictures on social media with it. Um, it's also a good recruiting tool. You know, depending on what kind of school you're in, whatever. Like you know, kids want to be a part of something big. Like they want to. They want to. If they if there can be fame and you know. Other things involved other than just playing on Friday nights to make football a year-round sport, this is a great way to do it. You know, get that championship belt and pass it around. Make sure you mix the drills up so different le grade levels and different uh, kids can win it. You know, is it could you make it so that a freshman never wins? Sure. But do you want to do that? No, because you want them to keep coming back and you want to do drills that, you know, benefit them also. You know, if you're in a super big school, I would get one for both. If you have a freshman football team, Maybe get a, a belt that's, you know, a smaller scale for them and, a, you know, a, a pretty cool one for your varsity football program. And you can do this at any level. Youth doesn't matter. Like the kids, it's kind of like, you know, Miami's chain and uh, turnover chain. And, you know, there's been lots of things over the years. But I've found that, you know, having that reward that can be seen, that is something that is the kids take pride in and will fight tooth and nail over, will bring out the best in them, okay, because they will compete for it, and you'll see it in these drills. But, again, if you have any questions or how the drills work or anything, if I can describe them better than I did, uh, just let me know. They're pretty, they're all, the videos are pretty good, so they're pretty self-explanatory. You just want to make sure you're safe, you know what I mean? No no kicking, no punching, no headbutting. Like, are they going to get banged up bruises, bloody knees and elbows? Absolutely, okay? And some of the drills you're going to want to do on grass, some of the drills you're going to want to do on uh, turf and, and it just depends on what the drill is and then don't be afraid to throw in fun things every once in a while too like uh, we do once a year uh, we'll on our one of our combatives days 
because we just want a competition. We'll do a cornhole tournament, right? And we'll, you know, we make hot dogs and hamburgers for the kids and, you know, make sure it's fun. We've played wiffle ball, split them up and played wiffle ball. They love doing that. Um, but you want to make sure that you're working in enough of these drills too because, you know, the whole purpose of doing them is to make the kids tougher, okay? So, so th if they see, if you start to see them, you know, grueling it like they've done enough, then go ahead on to something that's a little bit more fun. You know what I mean? Like the, the football is a, is a sport that the kids are supposed to enjoy. You know, we've all learned over the course of our careers that, you know, most of our life lessons have came from our football coaches or, or, or any coaches for that matter, teachers. And you learn a lot doing these drills and things like this about what you're made of. So, again, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below and head on to that first combative drill, which looks like it is Powerball.